Hey guys, it's John from the Reaper blog. In this video, I want to talk to you about the monitoring effects chain. So the monitoring effects chain is a chain of plugins you can insert after your master fader. And this allows you to uh, manipulate the sound or visualize the sounds that you're hearing without affecting your mix. You use metering plugins, frequency analysis plugins, and uh, monitor or room calibration plugins. Also, this effects chain applies to all your projects. It's saved with the Reaper preferences rather than with each project. So uh, this is my monitoring effects chain here. I have the Klanghelm VU MT Solo. It's a uh, stereo VU meter. Um, I have it on stereo mode. You can have it on mono mode. I also use the Tone Boosters EBU Compact loudness meter. And I also use Voxengo Span a frequency analysis plugin. So if you use ARC2 from IK Multimedia, the monitoring effects chain is a great place to put it. The EQ curve that is being applied will not be applied to your actual mix, just what you're hearing. And you don't need to worry about remembering to turn it off before you render. What I like to do is dock this um, to the left of my mixer. So uh, just right click on this effects chain and then down at the bottom, Dock effects window in Docker. And if it doesn't go to the left, then you can just click and drag this to wherever you like it. With my mastering screen set, I also have it just like this. And if I was in my mixing screen set, I would just click my button on, the, on my toolbar to bring up the monitoring effects chain. Well, that's the monitoring effects chain and how I use it. If you're not already using it, I think you will like it, so give it a try. Thanks for watching. Check out reaperblog.net for more tutorials. Like, share, and subscribe. Really appreciate it. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.